I'm back with a threading video. As you can see, part of my hair has already been threaded. But you can see clearly how much stretch I've gotten compared to this right here. I did use this type of thread. I did get it on a trip to Togo. And I use it to thread my hair because it is made for threading. It's made for nothing else but threading. The purpose of this is only to thread hair. So I use this and it works well. Before I started threading it, that same thread, I managed, you know, to cut it in the pieces that I will be using to make it easier. So, um, if you can't get this type of thread, there is always thread that can be found anywhere. I personally have seen some threads in Walmart. So, you can always get some thread in Walmart and do it. But I just prefer this because I grew up using this. It's just the normal things for me to do. And I did keep my hair in the same section that I conditioned my hair. But you don't have to. You can make it as small as you want or you can even make it bigger. But these sections work for me. So I just kept it in the same section. So I guess enough talking. <laughs> Before I start threading, I pre-cut the thread in individual in individual strings and I put four. I know it's hard to see. I put four of them together and I make I make it really long. To keep me from having to stop and adding but sometimes I do run out so I guess I'm gonna proceed and before I do that I'll, I just put this in my mouth and I take the thread it's maybe hard to see but I I make sure it's folded and I grab the thread and I grab part of it to prevent it from sliding out of my hair since my hair is wet and I twist it a few times at the bottom. I go around a few times before I start working my way down. And I make sure I pull the hair down. And this white stuff that you see here that's just a conditioner since I'm doing it wet and this doesn't always have to be done on wet hair it can also be done on dry well detangled hair or just damp hair but since I'm doing it on a wash day and I get more thread start from where I, I left off and I make sure I keep the hair stretched out and as you can see when I get to the very end I keep threading it all the way to the end and I will thread past my hair so when I reach the very bottom I fold the thread and I keep braiding so you can see I have thread so this thread will serve as an extension for the hair which will allow me to braid past my hair all the way down to the tips to the very end so I can cut this out all the way this is it so I will proceed to the last section so just take more thread and repeat the same process. Once again, I'm out of thread, so I just go back and take more thread and just pick up from where I left. And then the other thread, I just I just leave it in and thread over it. And then when I get to the very end, I fold the thread one more time and then 
I keep threading. Fold it just to make sure I thread past my ends to avoid damaging my ends when I tie when I tie the ends. Because I don't want to tie over them my hair. Now that I have braided past my hair, I can make a knot to help keep it in. And that's it. And please stay tuned for the takedown and style so you can see how much my hair was able to stretch. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.